hello good morning good afternoon good evening good whatever time of the day it is where you're in the world right now this is going to be a video about frying an egg in real time i think it is extremely important to know how to fry an egg with as little oil as you can possibly use i'm gonna use i think about um half a teaspoon of oil is enough you don't need more than that when you use a non-stick pan my non-stick pan as i said in a previous video is a fiskars rodifer non-stick pan 24 centimeter in diameter i'm spreading it around whatever oil i use i'm spreading it around with a, a brass that i think is a silicon one because i don't want hair to be in the pan i prefer silicon ones and they last a longer period of time i think this one has lasted us 10 years so they don't go but as quickly as a typical brass does you could also spray it with a bottle you can get oil and uh, place it in a bottle and spray it on top of the surface of the pan do whatever suits you whatever feels better for you you want to start off by checking that the heat is starting to distribute evenly on the surface of the pan you will fill it by positioning your hand on top of the pan you don't want to place your hand too closely to the surface of the pan because obviously you don't want to uh, have the extra risk of you burning your hand you want to make sure it's hot but you don't want to bury yourself so about 10 centimeters above the surface of the pan you can just place your hand and make sure that it is hot you don't want to place something on top of a pan when it's not hot because um, it will not cook evenly if the pan is already heated across its surface, then you will add something. That's one of the reasons why oil helps in certain cases, because it helps the heat distribute better. Obviously, you want to use a lower heat, uh, low to medium, never to high with the non-stick pans, because that damages them and it doesn't cook the food properly. So here, have it at about one third of its heat capacity and I am going to start by placing the bowl closely to the surface of the pan and allowing the egg to pour. I don't know if that's a correct way of expressing it. Allow it to slide in there. You don't want to drop it. Even though I'm not using a lot of oil, uh, which would be considered frying an egg. Again, you don't want to drop it because this would make the pattern of the egg uneven. It would, it would just aesthetically not be very pleasing to you. I am going to cover it with a lid because I did not use enough oil for it to be considered frying the egg. This process is just um, allowing it to slowly cook. So when you just remove the lid, as I explained in a previous video, and there is burning oil, the steam created in the pan will turn into droplets of water and that could easily burn you when you raise the lid and the droplets of water spread on the surface of the pan because if fried oil wasn't there oh my goodness that um that would be catastrophic for you you just allow it to chill relax you see it takes about four minutes the entire process of me preparing the the egg just allow it to steam in there the steam itself allows the, the egg to detach from the surface of the pan i am going to check it again in a minute because i want to make sure it's not overcooked a lot of people like the yolk to be runny i am one of those people i like the the yolk to be soft and runny i don't like it to be cooked thoroughly but again you do you you will see it when the yolk changes color. I personally like it runny. You see the steam created on top of the lid. So when you raise it, if you had the lid vertically leaning on top of the pan, that would create droplets of water that would fall in the pan. That's exactly what you don't want to do when you fry it. Again, here I'm not frying it. I'm just... In a, in a way, steaming it on a non-stick pan. See all these tiny droplets of water. 
when I'm starting to operate from the surface of the of the lid. You can see them, they're visible at this point on the left. Whilst I remove it, you see I'm taking it horizontally, I did not place it vertically. I can demonstrate how this would be different if I had the lid vertically placed on top of the, of the pan. I don't necessarily think it's as easy as people present the use of non-stick cookware to be. I love this particular one. Again, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not saying that you can do crepes on a stainless steel pan without the use of oil. That's not something uh, that is reasonable and doable. I'm saying that you can try to use it as rarely as possible and have it be okay and be useful in the kitchen for a longer period of time. So if you were to do crepes or uh, do pancakes, for example, in a pan, I would use a nonstick. If that's a once in a week occurrence, then obviously you can use a nonstick pan. But if you're doing eggs every single day, even some people doing it a couple of times a day, you have to find a more sustainable way of cooking them and preparing them. Otherwise, honestly, you're just going to be throwing away pans every couple of years, even if you're very careful with them. And I don't think this is ethical. It is wasteful to buy something every year or so when you can just buy a stainless steel pan and use it for 10, 15, sometimes 20 years. And see how easy it is to remove it just with a drop of oil honestly which will not change the caloric intake that much it, it's not worse for you health wise to just add a drop of oil it's bad if you fry something which again has to do with the saturated fat but here it's just a drop of oil no problem, honestly. And I just wanted to say that for somebody who is unexperienced with cooking, you want to get bigger size spatula than I, I did in the video because it will allow you to have a, a bigger surface uh, that you would grab the egg with. And you want to have something that you, well, you would use to resist the egg sliding on the surface while you raise it. So you see me here using a, a teaspoon that um, is an easy way for you to do it. But again, if you're a complete beginner, you can also just uh, follow this tip, which is you want to raise the pan towards you. So you want to incline it, raising the pan upwards and that will allow it to slide towards the spatula without you having to use multiple utensils if you're somebody who has no idea about cooking uh, i think this is an easier way for you to try grabbing an egg for the first time there are spatulas like uh, this one i'm using here the metal one uh, if you don't have silicon spatula, you can use anything that is silicon or plastic uh, in your kitchen. Again, not plastic utensils, a cook appropriate one and slide it towards yourself. That's about it. Any, anything that is plastic could melt on the pan. You want to use something that is cook safe. If you use something that is metal on top of the a pan once, it's not going to damage it. But it depends how much you scratch the surface. You don't want to be rough with it. That's what I mean. You want to be really, really gentle with nonstick pans. Which is, again, the reason why I don't think they're very easy to handle as people present them to be. You need to be very, very careful of the way you cook on them, the way you clean them, the way you store them in order for them to not get damaged. 
So yeah, that was about it. This is an egg that I consider perfectly cooked. Until next time, bye.